is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Well, folks, buckle up. We have a front row seat at the Meghan Mall Circus, and let me tell you, it's a spectacle unlike any other. I've always wanted to call it as I see it, and what I'm about to reveal is hotter than the newest rumors we've already discussed. Hello, raw folks. It's good to see you all here again. Hold on tight, my friend, the tale deepened and grew juicier, but stop right there before we reveal the juicy facts. Meghan made a humiliating performance at the Power of Women event, where she brazenly posed in smile for the cameras, oblivious to the eye rolls and exasperation expressions of those surrounding her. Activate the notification and subscribe to the channel. I promise you won't regret waiting for what's coming next. It's a huge but, but no one seemed to be rolling out the carpet for the Duchess of Sussex's triumphant return despite her grandiose attempts to do so. The true tastemakers are, in reality, insiders in Hollywood. Let me tell you a small story if you didn't think Meghan was all that amazing. Chairwoman Paella spills the tea, scolding my pals in the process. Meghan reportedly made an attempt to socialize with celebrities such as Leonardo DiCaprio and Margaret Robbie, but she didn't get a warm reception. Meghan's recent endeavors have been unremarkable, but here's the real kicker, the pièce de résist on of the Hollywood drama. You know, in Hollywood, you're only as good as your previous big show. In an attempt to gain attention, Meghan reportedly begged NBC's Universal Studio Group chairperson, Pina O.K., for a picture. Yes, the Duchess really did almost beg for a picture. Using her 43% Nigerian profile to approach Pina, Meghan, ever the class clown, now chose to play the diversity card and say she's in negotiations with NBC Universal to make a comeback to film suits. Yes, Meghan attempted to market herself as a princess of Nigeria, but Pina, the queen, only grinned in response. Imagine Meghan leaning into attempt to make an impact on Pina, but she's sitting there with confidence, unfazed. While Meghan had to frantically try to fit herself inside the frame, she shines on her own. Speaking of which, let's discuss Meghan's clever seating arrangement. Not surrounded by A-listers but by her Uber agent Brad Slater, she was seated at a table in the rear of the room next to Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh Brad, the one who brought Meghan along as his date. Oh my goodness, Meghan, you're not at the Ailish table, and let's not overlook the public relations ploys involved. For years, publicists have used these ploys to start rumors, build buzz, and give the impression that you're hanging out with the bigwigs. According to Hollywood PR guru Mark Borowski, Meghan's presence was nothing more than a well-thought-out ploy to start rumors. Before I depart, isn't Meghan's speciality in stirring up controversy and riding the wave of attention? If you're going to start talk, you have to start the rumors in the gossip section of the media and social media. I'm interested in hearing your opinions. Tell us in the comments below, and we'll talk to you again soon. Royal Updates and Evaluations